In this video, we'll look at the Paint Bucket Tool, how to apply and edit colors and materials. Click on the Paint Bucket, and the Materials tray opens. It opens to the Colors folder, but you can see all the other folders that there are, too. Click on a color, and then click on a face. This face happens to be loose geometry. It is easiest to paint on loose geometry because you have the most control and you can edit previous colors. I'll show you what I mean. Click here, return this to the default. Now, if I paint a color on, a, on loose geometry and then I group it, I can't paint over it. To paint over it, I have to open the editing box and then I can paint over it. Let's look at the wood folder and click this wood flooring on. If I want to edit this, I can. Click on the in model icon and find it. Select it, click on the Edit tab, and you can do all kinds of things now. You can make it darker, lighter. You can actually change the colors. You can sample it, meaning match the color of an object in the model. With this sampler, you can click anywhere on the screen and it will match that color. You can change the tile size, that is, the size at which the pattern will repeat. 30 feet looks like that, 6 feet looks like that. Reset the color here. Select, right click, choose texture, position. These are free pins. If I right click again and choose fixed pins, I get four pins, all of which will do something different. Like here is how I can change the wood grain orientation. I can move the texture with this pin. To illustrate again painting on groups versus inside groups, I can't overpaint this because it's in a group. But if I open this, I still can't paint it. And that's because there's a nested group that is yet another group in there. And once I drill down to the loose geometry, then I can overpaint it. Going back to the editing, what if I want to match this wall color to a real life paint? I'm going to click on In Model on the color that I want to edit. And instead of color wheel, I'm going to click on RGB, red, green, blue. Some paint manufacturers publish their RGB colors of all their paints. And if you can get a hold of one of those documents and put in the numbers yourself, you can match a real-life paint color. Let's import an image now. I'm going to click on this till I get to the loose geometry and I want to replace it with my own image. So I will go to File, Import, Click on the image I want, click on Texture, 
and then click on import and then click it into place. So anyhow, I've got that there and I'm going to click on it and click on edit. I can change its color. I can change the tile. If I want to change the tile so that these are not proportionate, I just click the link and then I can type numbers in here separately. I can also right click, texture, position, and move it around. So that sums up the paint bucket tool and bring in images.